All right, so here we are with part six of Kirby's Return to Dreamland. Um, in this video, we're going to start the next world. Uh, White Wafers, I think is what it's called. Yeah. So, yep, let's do this. And, yep, it appears like I'm still recording on the same, on the same day as I did with the other five videos. So it's probably likely that it won't be until either either the next video or the video after, or probably till part nine, until I start a new recording session or something for the gameplay. I don't really know. It, it will happen, though. I, I know for certain it will happen, because, like I said, there was no way I was able to do this walkthrough in one sitting. Uh, so let's see. Yep. Just watch out for these guys. The music on this level is also pretty good, too. It's funny that we'd be in an ice world, considering that even by the time this video gets released, it'll still be winter time. Alright. Yeah, it looks like I might actually need the fire power up after all. Alright, let's do this. And yep, right down there is the first energy spear. I'm gonna get rid of these guys. There's nothing up here. Oh, the fighter ability. That's another good power up. One that I thought about showing off, but I think I didn't realize at the time that I think I still needed the fire power up. More, most likely. I don't know. I mean, we got this. We got this little gun here. So we probably, so we probably wouldn't need the fire power up just yet. Yeah, I don't need the bomb power up. I'm gonna stick with this one for now. Yeah, I think this is just to kind of help with all those enemies that are in the way. Let's just head into the door. Automatic cannons. Oh, there's probably going to be a few manual ones. Yep. One of these you have to go downwards. But I guess it's in the later part of the level. Yeah, and considering how fast that thing goes, it kind of makes it hard to time the aim right. The first energy spear is going to be up there. Or second one, sorry. Yep, so there's going to be no super ability, but, you know, we're just doing the normal run of energy spear collecting. So yeah, we want to try to go downwards. The last one should be at the bottom. Yeah, right in here. Alright, just, yep, go through that guy, and then... I believe, yeah, we need the water power up. Yep, the last one's right there, and that's the end of 4-1. Now, that guy, if you swallow him up, you actually can get the, uh, another ability called the mic ability, which it's not really the greatest ability. I mean, you can only use it, like, three times, and that's about it. So, it's not really one that I recommend using, but if you want to use it, go ahead. Alright, giant edge. This guy has a sword power up. Yeah, try not to get hit by him. Nice. Alright. Yep, 
Yep, so this is just there if you want to get, like, the one-up and stuff. Really no point in fighting that guy, in my opinion. Yeah, we're just going to check to see what's up here. And there's nothing. Alright, well... That's about it for this level. Now for the gold game. Damn, still can't get number one. Yep, guess it really can't be helped. So there's level, or stage two, of white wafers. Alright. Yep, this guy also gives you the ice ability as well. Right, make your way through here. Oh, that guy, if you actually inhale him, you get the ninja power-up, which is also another awesome power-up. Alright. Yep, just keep ice skating. It's actually just so much fun sliding on the ice with the ice ability. Oh, but you actually need the you need a power up for one of the enemies. I went back hoping I could try to get one of those, but yeah. Cutter power up. I mean, it didn't really have to show this off since, you know, like I said, one way or another, my lives will reset eventually. I just don't know when I intend to quit the recording session. Alright, so what you want to try to do here is try to line this up right. And yeah, I was kind of having a hard time getting this figured out. Yeah, it's going on the spikes definitely is not the best idea. There we go. Yeah, don't get crushed by the platform or you'll die. Alright, so head into the door. I, I inhaled this guy because I thought there'd be a power-up, but there wasn't, so... Yep, that was kind of a total waste. Don't fall like I almost did. See, so, yep, this is another one of these things where you gotta try to get to the cannon as quickly as possible. Yeah. I keep losing my stick and power up. After that, I just kind of eventually gave up and decided to just wait for the cannon to reset. Yeah, I don't know why I'm backtracking, but it's like, hey, what the hell? Alright. Yeah, and I don't know why I made that same stupid mistake again. It's like, what? You'd think by now I'd learn from this, but it's like, nope. Uh, somehow I've just made it barely in time to get up here, so... Yep, I lost my power up just because of how slippery the ice is. Alright, make our way into the door. Okay, I don't know why the hell I did that. That was stupid. Yep, ended up dying. Alright, let's try this again. Alright, into the door. Let's 
what do we got next? We got more random enemies that don't even give power up, so we're just gonna get rid of them. Oh, and the spiky boot is back. All right. Yeah, I can't remember if this level was the one that had that special... If the music was different from the first level or not. Like I said, I haven't played this... I, I definitely should watch the footage before um, recording, but honestly, I'm just too lazy to do that. Alright, well... Let's destroy that, and then... Yep, destroy the blocks, and you can make your way back to the other side. Alright. I forget if it actually resets or not. There we go. Yep. So now we just use this and try to... Make a way all the way over to the other side. Yeah, I don't really think you really need the spiky boot at this point, but I still end up getting it. Until here, anyways. Alright, we'll get the stone power up. I forget if we can, if there's even a super ability around here that we can get. I don't really think there is, but we'll find out. Alright. Alright, yeah, in this part here I was trying to get the three red stars since I figured, oh, I'm almost up to 100 stars now, so why not get those? Alright. I don't think there's anything else around here. Alright, come on, stupid enemy. Alright. And this is another one of these choosing type of things. And of course, you know, I end up choosing the beam power up, which... <clears throat> I don't know if it was the best solution to this, but... We'll find out. Super bonkers. Yep, if you actually can't tell, this guy actually has a super ability. Which I think is like the last one that I have yet to show. Yeah, because I showed you Snow Snowball, I showed you Monster Flame. In, in like Ultra Sword and Flare Beam, so yeah. This is basically like the last of the <clears throat> super abilities that I have yet to show. So what is this super ability called? Well, it's not super hammer. That's just what they want to make it sound like, but it's not. Yeah, the worst part about this fight was not using the sword power up, and I think I do end up dying here. Yep. Okay, nope. I guess I do manage to get it without dying. So, <clears throat> sorry. So, Grand Hammer. Yep, that's the name of this super ability. The final one that I have yet to show, that is. So you shake the Wii Remote until you get to the giant hammer like that one and break everything around you. Yeah, you just have to like shake it up to three times until you get the gold hammer, and then this thing, what you gotta do is... You gotta hit it, and then boom. Destroy it. I don't know what those things are, but yeah. Use your grand hammer and destroy it, and then there you go. Yeah, the same thing with this one. 
there are some parts where you won't always be able to use the gold hammer and that you have to kind of um, use like uh, like maybe the, the, the small or medium hammers. So you have like, there we go, just get rid of that guy. It's actually amazing how many stars you can get out of these as well. Alright, yep, destroying another platform. Alright, let's go. Alright, come on, destroy it. Nice. Yeah, I think I'm getting pretty close to the... Getting close to the negative zone and getting another uh, 100 rupee or er, stars. All right, Get rid of this guy, and yep, the hole opens up to the negative zone. Get some of these, and then head on in. Alright. Try to get, yep, eat the Waddle D and grab your key, make your way to the next area. Yeah, this negative zone, you basically just have to use, like, the key and open up doors and crap. It's pretty much a tedious process, especially when you got that purple wall chasing you. Alright, come on now. Yep, just break that open and use... Yep, now we got ourselves the gun. Or popper, or whatever you want to call it. I don't even honestly know what this thing's called, and for some reason I died here, and I don't know why. Um, but, yeah, basically I end up cutting back here. Because, yeah, that was just stupid. Alright, come on now. Get rid of these guys. Yeah, I was probably going to get those red stars, but, you know, I decided not to. So, yeah, the ninja power-up, I hadn't really shown this one off yet, so I figured, okay, I'll give this one a try. Yeah, the hard part was trying to aim at this guy with this power-up. Yeah, I can't really say for certain that it really worked out well. Yeah, it took like half damage, but yeah, this... It wasn't really easy trying to get the hang of using this power-up since I kept getting hit multiple times. I was going to try to get the spark ability since I figured maybe that would work better, but... Yeah, that didn't really work out so well. But in the end, I just stuck with the ninja power-up since I was already close to beating him. And there we go. World 4, 2, energy spears complete. Anyways, um... Yeah, I think that's basically about all we end up doing. That's basically about it for this video. In the next video, we will continue with white wafers as we go into, like, um stage three and and more levels after that so until then this is luigi rocks 2014 signing out and i'll see you guys in part seven